hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be making this multi-panel gown or you can call it six pieces skirt panel gown is a gown is a dress but we're going to be focusing on the down part the skirt part with exaggerated extended tail can we see this so this is what we are going to be making the pattern and the sewing so let's get started this is the full dress yeah so guys i'm starting with my middle panel so this is my starting line if you can see it i'm going to be marking out four inches so my four inches is my bust pan measurement my nipple to nipple measurement remember this paper is assumed to be on fold okay so my half length is 17 inches so i'm going to be keep my taper is going to be starting from 17 inches if you can see it this is 17 inches so i'll be placing my 17 inches on my starting point and mark down my the new length shoulder to the new length is 37 so i'll mark down my 37 inches here and i'll rule across from my 17 inches i'm going to get my hip measurements where my hip is going to sit mine is usually 24 so i'll mark that if you watch our skirt pattern you get full detail on how to make on how to draft your skirt pattern so from here i'm going to be marking another four inches and from the new part, I will minus half an inch from it, making it three and a half. Okay, so I'll connect. My four inches to my four inches and this three and a half to the four inches. Make sure you don't have a sharp edge. Okay, so from here now, from this, after this um, new part, whatever you're going to do here depends on new, how wide you want yours to be. So uh, I want mine to be 30 inches wide, one panel. So I'm going to be placing my tape through from the starting point, that is 17. And I'll take it down to my full length. My full length, which is 60 inches. And I'm going to add hemming allowance to it. About one inch. So I'll mark that out. Hemming allowance about one inch. Okay, so from this end here, I'm going to be marking out 16 inches. I know that's much, but I want it to be extra extra. So from this 16 inches, I'm going to be connecting from my new point this is above the new this is about my new the actual new length is 40 and i came up three inches making it 37 so from here i'm going to slant my ruler to this so to here And I'll be using my curve to make this place inside. I don't want to have any sharp, sharp edge there. 
So can we see this? This is our front panel. Sorry, the middle panel, middle front panel, middle front panel. Okay, so this should be cut on fold. So let me cut that out. The, the how wide this this down part is is to, totally depends on you. I have five yards of new print fabric, so new print or scuba. You can call it new print or scuba. So I have five yards of this fabric, and I want to exhaust everything. I want it to be extra extra. So, but if you have about maybe three yards, you can reduce it. So I'm going to be adding seam allowance here, half inch seam allowance to join the upper part. Okay. So this is our middle panel middle front panel this is the front the middle one so i'll go ahead now to cut the side so guys to cut the side panel i've gone ahead to mark out my heat line and my new line so the lines are two this sewing allowance okay so starting with the waist measurement remember we've my nose four inches from here this is supposed to be here hope we know this is how this pattern is supposed to be from here so since we already my nose four inch from here our pattern instead of starting from one we're going to be starting from four remember this is already four inches so this is out so anything we are we are working with on this, we are starting from the four inch. So our waist measurement is thirty six divided by nine divided by four is nine, and our hip measurement is forty eight divided by four is twelve. So mark our twelve. Remember your tape rule is not starting from one; it's starting from four. So you mark your twelve. Then the new, whatever you have here, you eliminate two. So that's 10. So we have 10 here. So because it's a stretchy fabric, I'm going to be adding half inch seam allowance all through. But first of all, let me connect this. So to connect this, I'm going to be using my pattern master. To give you a nice curve. So this, we have it. For the upper part so the down part remember that our length is 60 inches so 10 okay and 16 inches is right here so plus one inch sewing hemming allowance so this full paper is 16 inches okay so from this hem part I'm going to be marking out my remember the this place is um 16 so we'll mark out 16 from the hem I'm going to be marking out my 16 so I'm going to be connecting I'm going to be connecting the hem to 
this nail part I remember when you get somewhere here you use a curved part so that you won't have any any sharp edge so I'll be using my curved part no sharp edge and there you have your side pattern so this pattern you're going to cut it out on your main fabric too for the front and two for the back so remember there is no sewing allowance on this pattern so while cutting on your fabric you're going to be adding half inch sewing allowance because i'm working with a stretchy material that's why i'm adding just half inch okay so this is the side pattern this is it the side pattern and this this is the middle pattern so here you have it so this is how it's going to be like so join this to this part like this and this will flare out like this so if you take this thing back now you're going to be having your men's skirts pattern from this new part you'll be having your skirts normal basic skirts pattern this is how to cut a panel skirt i know most people will be like when you want to cut a six pieces panel skirt, you should divide your hip measurement by six and all those stuff. No, that's not, that will not give you a curvy, a well curved pattern. So this pattern just eliminates the front one, which is your, um, the front one is your bust pan measurement. That's your dart line. This is it here. Then from here now you take the main measurement so this one you will be cutting it for two for the front two for the back then we are working with this one now we will be working with this for the tail the um inbuilt tail or inbuilt goddess at the back okay you know, my middle pattern for the back and tail extension the goddess extension so um i've placed my middle pattern away from the edge of my pattern paper by 10 inches so i want my extension to be 10 inches wide so i've placed the middle pattern that is the fold the place on fold the place that will be on fold i placed it away from my pattern paper by 10 inches so starting from this new part i'm going to be extending my line i will be extending this line so starting from this new part down i have this is the end where i have my 75 inches okay so this is what we are going to be doing so from this end here I'm going to be connecting this line to curve out here. These two edge must meet. They must be equal. I don't know if we're saying it. Sorry, I'm shooting over myself. So this edge here, they must be equal. They must meet. So from this edge point here, I will make it in form of a V, in form of a circular curve to meet this part. To meet this end so that's the extension of the that that will be the extension of the goddess okay let's do that now so i'll be free i'll be doing that freehand with a thin line then at the end if i'm satisfied 
I will connect everything together. Okay. So. So I think I will shape this out now for us to see. Okay. So this is our extended goddess. So guys, from this, my new part, this new line, I'm going to be using my long ruler to extend my lines down, down to the 75 inches point. So let me do that now. And there you have your pattern. So I will be cutting that out now. So guys, this is your front middle pattern as you can see and this is your back middle pattern can you see that this is gorgeous i need to place this on the floor so that we can see how gorgeous this pattern is hey guys i want us to take a look at the pattern we just made this right here is the side pattern and this right here in the middle is the middle back pattern you can see the extension of the goddess the tail in beauty tail and that's right there is the middle pattern so i'll go ahead now to cut it on the fabric and i'll show you guys what it looks like after joining up them up so this one you're going to be cutting two for the front and two for the back then this is the middle front so you are going to be cutting only one and this you're cutting on fold this and this you're cutting on fold the two of them but because this is going to have a zipper at the back so i'll be adding my zipper allowance and also i'll be cutting two of it since it has a zipper at the back so it's, it won't be on fold but assuming you're making something that doesn't have zipper at the back you can cut on fold but this is on fold this you can either cut on fold or you cut two and add zip, zipper allowance at the back and this you cut for two for the front and two for the back so i'll be right back all you need to do is to stitch them up remember to number your panel so you won't miss up each of them and you stitch them up and i will show you what it looks like after i've joined them together hi guys i just placed my pattern on my fabric wow look at that gorgeousness so um guys i find out that my fabric is a lot 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 longer like so long so i think i'm going to be exhausting the whole thing here so instead of 75 i don't know i didn't measure again i'm going to be connecting this from this point here down up to that part where it will be joined with the side seam so i can't allow this lovely fabric to waste so i'm going to be adding that up now so that's the only change here in the pattern i'll cut this out right now and i will see what it looks like hey guys so this is what our pattern looks like this is the tail the inbuilt tail after joining the back okay so this side and this side is going to be joined with the front so it's the same length with the front okay so the center panel is how long it is so i'm going to be joining the front and the back together now and i will show you guys what it looks like and i'll join the upper bodies to it okay Hi guys, so this is the bottom of the dress. I added crinoline to it, her separate to the hem of the dress. So can you see how 
long the tail is and this is the front part so guys kindly like share and subscribe to my youtube channel please don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section below thank you guys so much and don't forget to subscribe bye